Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Welcome tonight to More Than Conquerors Youth Ministry. Amen. Praise God. And, you know, we're just here to uplift the name of Jesus. Amen. Despite what we're going through, despite the things that we face, amen, we're going to continue to do the work of God. Praise God. And that's what it's about, standing, truly standing for God, truly standing in all situations, praise God. That we are more than conquerors tonight. You are more than a conqueror. And tonight, we just want to welcome you tonight, praise God. Thank you for joining us, amen. And we're going to go ahead and get started, amen. Before we begin, we're going to go ahead and uplift the name of Jesus in prayer, amen. In the name of Jesus, we come before you, God. Lord, for this is an appointed time, God. This is a time, Lord Jesus, that is ordained by you for whoever's going to watch, praise God, whoever's going to watch later on, God. It is not by accident, Lord God, but it is by your spirit that you are drawing them, God. Lord, we pray, Lord Jesus, that you will pour out your spirit, God. That you will pour out your spirit, Lord Father God, to all the nations, to all the communities, to all the reservations, God, to all the homes tonight, God. Lord Jesus, let us stand in your presence tonight, God. Lord, as we worship you, Lord, Father, God, in the spirit and in truth, God. As we play unto you tonight, God, anoint us tonight, Lord. Get us out of the way, Lord, for it is not us, Lord, but it is your spirit, God, that flows, God, through the instruments, Lord, through the speakers, through my voice, Lord, through the Facebook tool, God, that we are able, Lord, God, to speak spread your word, that we are able to encourage the people, that we are able to use to do the work of you, God, in this generation, Lord. Lord, Father, God, just have your way, God. Let the people hear, Lord. Let the ears hear, God. Let the eyes see, Lord, what you can do. We thank you, Lord, Father, God. Lord, just have your way, Lord, Father God, in these last days, in these last minutes, in these last seconds, Lord, Father God. While the world is turning upside down, while the world is pulling itself apart, while the world is killing themselves, God. Oh, Lord, Father God, let your word stand, Lord. Let your anointing stand, God. Let the sword of the Spirit stand, God. In these last days, Lord, Father God, and we pray that you touch every single young person tonight, God. If they're discouraged, Lord, if they're sad, Lord, if they're going to depression, Lord, in whatever they're facing, Lord God, we pray that every young person will feel the Holy Spirit this very moment, God. We pray for a protection, Lord, for a covering, Lord, by your precious blood tonight, God, that every single young person, Lord, will feel the Spirit of God. No matter where they're at, no matter what they're doing, Lord, we are still standing for them, God. Every breath that we have, Lord, Father God, it is going to claim, Lord, every young person to you, Lord, because we speak life, Lord. We speak victory, Lord, over our young people, over our children, over our sons, over our daughters, that one day, Lord, they will come and they will kneel. Oh, and they will give their lives unto you, God. That is our hope, Lord. That is the greatest hope, Lord, tonight. As a parent, Lord, as a minister, Lord, that our young people will hear you. Oh, we thank you, Lord Jesus. We thank you tonight, God. Have your way, Lord. In the name of Jesus, have your way, God. No matter what I face 
am able, Lord. I am able, Lord. Oh, there is nothing too hard. Oh, there is nothing too hard. Oh, there's nothing too hard. Cause I'm more than a conqueror. Cause I'm more than a conqueror. Yes, Lord. Oh, we thank you, Lord Jesus.
keep me strong, Lord. Yes, God. No matter what we face, Lord, keep us strong, God. Oh, in the name of Jesus, God. Oh, walk. Walk with me. God, we worship you tonight, God. Giving you all the praise and honor and glory tonight, God. Lord Jesus, that you will send out the encouragement, God. That you will send down the strength, God, for the people that are in need tonight, God. Lord, we thank you, God. You gotta hold on. You gotta hold on. Hold on. Oh, you gotta hold on. Hold on to Jesus. I woke up early this morning. Jesus said to hold on. I woke up early this morning. Jesus said you hold on. Yes, Lord. I 
just had a sweet talk with Jesus Jesus said to hold on I just had a sweet talk with Jesus Jesus said to hold on
afraid anymore I said you don't have to worry anymore You don't have to be afraid You don't have to be afraid anymore Everything Everything my friends you don't have to worry you don't have to fear no longer because God has everything under control God has every situation under control in due time God will take care of your situation but all you got to do is continue to stand. All you got to do is stand in the midst of the chaos. All the craziness. Continue to stand on the solid rock of foundation. And God will make a way for you. God will make a way for you. Praise God. I want to share my last song and encourage you tonight. Praise God. Lord, you done been so good to me. I thank you, Lord. Lord, you been so good to me. I thank you, Lord. You've been so good. Oh, you've been so good to me. When I was down, you came along, you took me in, you saved my soul, and you never, oh, you never let me go. Oh, you never. Down, you came 
along Oh, you took me in And you saved my soul And you never Oh, you never let me go You never Oh, you never let Amen. Praise God. Thank you. Praise God tonight. Amen. Joining us, the More Than Conquerors Youth Ministry tonight. Amen. Giving it our all. Praise God. Giving it our all and doing the work of the Lord the very best that we can. Praise God. That's what it's going to take in these last days. Praise God. No more playing games. Amen. No more being half-hearted. Praise God. Uh, no more being lukewarm. Praise God. Amen. In these last days, it's going to take a serious Christian. It's going to take a serious believer to do the work of God. Amen. Praise God. Elijah stood for God. Amen. And he said, choose this day whom you may serve. If you serve God, serve God. But if you serve Baal, if you serve the world, then serve Baal and serve the world. Because there is no in between. Praise God. In these last days, if we want change, if we want change in our family, if we want change in our life, if we want change in the church, if we want change in our communities, we got to be serious with God. We got to stand for God. No matter what we go through, the persecution and sickness and, 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 and sorrow and grief, praise God, we must stand. And in order for God to change something, in order for God to move, it's going to take us to stand and be faithful unto God and know and know and know through our faithfulness 
God is going to move and God and we will see the change. Praise God. So in these last days, amen, we must be serious. Praise God. Even though, praise God, we don't have many people that follow us. Even though, praise God, when we have service, not many people are there. Praise God. But we continue to speak. We continue to preach. We we continue to worship. We continue to believe that God will bring the backsliders, that God will bring the young people, that God will bring our family, that God will bring our children. We still preach like never before. Amen. We still prophesy like never before to the dead and dry bones that God will bring life in every direction in these last days. And that is what it's going to take. A true believer, a true believer in God that will only rely on God and nobody else. Praise God. Not men, not title. Praise God. But only relying on the word of God. God, praise God, that is what it's going to take. And the more than conquerors youth ministry is only, only on the foundation of God speaking the word of God, the true sound doctrine, not compromising the word of God, but living up to the true standards of God so we can see a powerful movement of God so we can see the Holy Spirit begin to reveal that praise God what is going to come in these last days that is what it's going to take a true strong firm believer praise God amen praise God the spirit of God is already moving the spirit of God God is already moving tonight, praise God, amen, praise God, so tonight, amen, praise God, we're going to go ahead, if you guys have any uh, a, a prayer request, go ahead and send it to us, forgive us, praise God for being late, praise God, amen, but we're still going to continue to go full force in tonight's lesson, in tonight's ministry, praise God, amen, praise God, and tonight we have a, 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 a powerful word, a powerful message, praise God, amen, and, and, and we're going to uh, uh, speak on that just in a little bit, praise God, but before I call my children up to testify, amen, praise God, I, we just, I just have, need, I need to calm myself down, praise God, I'm ready to take off, amen, praise God, uh, but um, um, amen. We have a few quick announcements. Amen. Just a quick announcement. Praise God. Um, uh, uh, um, what's next Saturday? This, Saturday? this Saturday, the 19th. Praise God. No. Is it the 19th? Yeah. The 19th, November 19th. Praise God. Amen. The Fort McDowell Church. Praise God. And, and, and Fort McDowell, uh, Fort McDowell Miracle Church of all nations. Amen. Is we'll be having a, a, a gospel jam. They're going to be celebrating the Orem Dam celebration. Amen. I believe it's the 44th anniversary of Fort McDowell, the establishment. Praise God. It's a lot of history on the Orem Dam. Praise God. But um, the community is celebrating. So the church, amen, went ahead and, and, and wanted to celebrate with God. Amen. We uh, uh, gathered together under, amen, the tent. Praise God. I believe, amen. Man, praise God, and we're going to have an awesome, mighty time in the Lord, worshiping God, amen, different ministries, praise God, are going to be coming, amen, forth, praise God, and I'll be giving the word, amen, uh, I believe around 4 p.m., around 5 p.m., praise God, and if you're in the area, come on out, praise God, come on out, be a part of, the, uh, uh, of, of what's going to take place, amen, a mighty move of God, God already has a word, God already has a message for Fort McDowell, praise God, that's going to flood the land, that's going to cover the land of Fort McDowell, praise God, amen, and I can't wait to let it go, I can't wait to let it loose, praise God, but amen, we'll be out there November 19th, praise God, look for our banner, more than conquerors will be out there, 
my wife, amen, my children are here with me tonight. Praise God, amen, and, and, and God is moving. There's something that we're, uh, we're going to be doing, and we'll announce that later on. Praise God, but amen, I can't wait to see what God is, 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 is going to continue to do in this ministry. Praise God, amen, and that's the only thing, praise God. If, we, if you want a t-shirt, does anybody have their t-shirt on? Praise God, amen. Kayla, praise God, um, if you guys want a t-shirt, amen, let us know. Praise God. We'll go ahead and send them to you. It takes time, but amen. Praise God. If you want a t-shirt, amen. Praise God. Let me try to lift my daughter up. Praise God. Oh, gosh. Okay. Okay. Our More Than Conquerors t-shirt. If you guys want one, praise God, the ministry t-shirt, amen. Go ahead and contact us. Thank you, Kayla. Praise God. If you want one, let us know. Message us. Praise God. Amen. If you guys want a t-shirt, praise God. Let us know. Amen. And, and, and that's about it. Praise God. We're going to go ahead and get right into the uh, into our, it's almost 8 o'clock. Praise God. So we're going to start with Ethan. Tonight, we're going to be talking about children. Amen. Praise God. The little children tonight. Amen. And, and, and we're going to start, and I, I pray that they're going to encourage you tonight with scripture, praise God, with testimonies. My children are growing in God. My children, praise God, we've been, uh, we've been um, uh, uh, doing a lot in this ministry, praise God. And they've been growing and I'm proud of them. Amen. And, and, and this is what God can do. Amen. This is what God can do. God can do the same thing with your children, praise God. So we're going to go ahead and start with Ethan and the Aubrey uh, and the Malachi and Armani, praise God. Hey, Mason, go ahead, Ethan. Praise God, encourage him. Hey, Amen. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us here tonight. And the scripture I'll be reading is found in Galatians 3 26. For you are, ch for you are all children of God through faith in Christ Jesus. And all who have been united with Christ in baptism have put on Christ like putting on new clothes. I like this one because um, for all you children out there, you are God's chosen generation. Because uh, in this generation with these children, uh, these are the last days. And God, God chose these children. Uh, children and he loves the children so much he will always he will always love the children for no matter what they do and and in the scripture it says for you for you are all children yes. because we are children of God and of through faith in Christ Jesus yes. and I like that scripture it reminds me of um the the children how god loves the children and and remember that you are you will always be loved by jesus yes. and he will always forgive you he will always love you he'll yes. he'll be your friend throughout the yes. the whole time he will he will get you to the gates of heaven he will he will always be your friend and he'll always love you to yes. the very end of age. Yes. And have a blessed night and God bless you all. Hello everyone, I'm Aubrey and to me, Jesus loves the children because children are a gift from God. And in the Bible it says, Jesus said, Let the children come to me and do not hinder them, for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. Mm. Matthew nineteen fourteen. Mm -hmm. To me, I think this means to let the children come to Jesus and to not hide them from mm. him because the kingdom of heaven belongs to those who are like children. Yes. So Jesus loves you no matter what. And he will always forgive you. And be with you, even though you can't see him. He's always with you. Yes. And that is my Listen test. To your Listen hmm? to your oh, and um, to always listen to your parents. Also, yes. and thank you. God bless you. Good morning. 
Hello everyone, my name is Malachi. <clears throat> um, Jesus, the children of Jesus is very important to us. They say that the children's prayers are more stronger than ours because it's so young. Because they're so young. The children also can go into God and know more from small growing up. Um, <clears throat> in Genesis 12, verse 2, I will make you into a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make you make. I will make your name great, and you will be blessed. Yes. The children of the world should know about Jesus, cause they would know the good and the wrong, the right and the um, wrong, yes. Yes. and they should. Because this generation is, it's, um, how do you say it? It's turning into, like, wrong, I would say. Yes. The children should know that Jesus is special to him and that they, he loves them with all his heart. Yes. And God bless you guys. Ooh, that's bright. Hello, everyone. I'm Armani. It's good to be back, back in business. Um, the question today is, uh, why is it important for uh, to raise kids or in God's way? Um, I think it's important to build a kid uh, in the right way uh, so that they can be um, disciplined and, you know, they could be leaders. I think that's a very good... A way to explain why they should be um, raised by God you know yes. to plant a seed yes. like they say yes. plant a seed inside a person who can understand and be knowledgeable with with things that you know a lot of people don't get it's it's sad but that's just the way life goes in some ways you gotta have that mindset to that mindset, encouragement, motivation, and discipline to raise someone. It's going to be hard. Yes, they'll disagree. Yes, you'll agree. It's, it's the way it goes. But in the end of the day, what really matters is who they really are and who are they going to be. You know, you want to raise someone who can be a leader and not a follower. You don't want yes. a follower. Yes. You want someone who can give you, show you, motivate you, tell you things that you don't know. Yes. You know, that's a good thing, too. And not only that, they can show other people the way. They can, you know, give people wisdom, mm -hmm. show them encouragement, show them what it is to be loved and to be cared about. Yes. And I, I think that's the reason why it's important to raise kids in God's way because God always says that he loves you like my sister said he always loves you and you should you should take care of yourself your people and most importantly be with him and there's a verse I f that's very well known but I'm learning to understand is I am the way the life and or no I am the way the truth and the life John 14:6 that's a very good one. Yeah. And, you know, plant, the whole planting a seed in someone and, you know, being knowledgeable with God, that's a good verse to go with, I, in my opinion. Um, but I hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing well. I'm praying for myself, my family, my friends. You know, I hope you guys are doing well. Pray for each other. Encourage one another. Motivate one another. Always love and care for someone who you're around yeah. because who knows what, you know, where our destination it may be. So just be with someone. If someone is around you that you haven't seen for a while, talk with them, share the word of God, or, you know, be lovable. And I've been taught that recently. Um, but I hope you guys are doing well. I love you, and it's good to be back. God bless you. Hey, man, praise God. God is good. Hey, man, God is good. And I, I, I pray tonight that...
Amen. Now, my kids encourage you, praise God, through their testimonies, their, 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 their testimonies, amen, are getting uh, a lot stronger when, when we first started, praise God, and, and you know, now they're backing their testimonies up with scripture, praise God, amen, so I'm teaching them that, praise God, to always have a scripture, amen, the word of God, praise God, amen, so tonight, amen, that's what we're going to be talking about, amen, the children of God, amen, Jesus loves the little children, praise God, and we're going to go ahead and get started, amen, again, if you guys have any prayer requests, amen, go ahead and write to us, amen, let us know, praise God, so at the end of the live, We'll go ahead and pray for you. Praise God. We'll stand with you. Praise God. Because prayer works. Amen. Prayer works. Praise God. Power in prayer. There's healing. There's comfort. There, 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 there's, there's salvation. There's repent. There's everything. Amen. Can come into a prayer of supplication, a request unto God, giving God what our needs are, praise God, and, 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 and so prayer is powerful, praise God, amen, so with that, praise God, we're going to go ahead and pray tonight before we get into the lesson, the word of God tonight, praise God, so let us pray, in the name of Jesus, we come before you, Lord God, and we thank you for this opportunity once again, Lord, for us to speak your word, Lord, the true sound doctrine, Lord God, Lord Jesus, for giving us another day, Lord God, another blessed day, God, Lord Jesus, that you have given us for bringing us all home safe, God. Lord, and for the ones that are watching, we thank you for them, God. We thank you for allowing, Lord Father God, this Facebook tool to go out to the world, Lord God. It touched, Lord Jesus, it touched Iraq, Lord God. It touched Afghanistan, Lord. It touched, amen, France, praise God. It touched Australia, God. It went all over the world, God, Lord. Your word went forth, God. And we thank you, Lord Jesus, for this amazing tool, this awesome tool that we could use, Lord God, to speak your word to the people, Lord God, but also my my children, Lord. Oh, Lord, Father God, I thank you for my children, Lord. They are blessed, Lord, Father God. Lord Jesus, for you is using them, God, for showing them, for teaching them, Lord God. Lord, we thank you tonight, God, and we cast down Every foul, wicked spirit, Lord God, every demonic spirit that has no more control, no more power, no more purpose, Lord Father God. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we cast them down back to the pit of hell tonight, God. For the enemy, Lord Father God, must flee tonight by the name of Jesus, God. Oh, Lord Father God, the enemy, Lord Jesus, Satan has been roaming around our communities for too long, God. But in the name of Jesus, Lord God, cover this place, God. Cover our children, Lord. Father God, cover our families, God, cover our homes, cover our schools, cover our reservations, cover our communities, God, cover, Lord Father God, all that we touch, Lord, by the blood of Jesus, Lord Father God, that nothing shall destroy us, that nothing shall come against us, that nothing shall hinder us, because that power that is in the blood, God, that power, Lord Father God, that is in your blood, that power that is in your name tonight, God, that no enemy enemy shall come against us tonight, God. Oh, in the name of Jesus, we pray for every stronghold to be broken tonight, God. Every addiction, Lord. Every uh, uh, greed, every lust, every murderous spirit, God. Oh, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, we cast it down to the pit of fire where it belongs, God. Satan belongs under our feet, God. All you have to do, Lord Father God, when you spoke to Satan, is say Satan, get thee behind me, Lord Father God. And tonight, Lord God, we say, Satan, get thee behind us tonight, God. Oh, we thank you in the name of Jesus, God. Let your word go forth, God. Let the words, Lord, be spoken of you, God. Get me out of the way, Lord God. Get me out of the way, Lord Father God. In the name of Jesus, God, we thank you, Lord. Be with us, God. Be with us, Lord. We thank you. And everybody said, Amen. amen. Praise God. Tonight, amen, I want to begin with the scripture. And the scripture is found in what Aubrey read is Matthew chapter 19, verses 13 through 15. Matthew chapter 19, verses 13 through 
15, and this is a very powerful scripture, amen, I have spoken this message, amen, this message was given to me a couple weeks ago, amen, praise God, and I love, and I love how, praise God, that what God has revealed to me in these scriptures, praise God, amen, on, on, on how, amen, Jesus begins to tell his disciples, praise God, how important the little children are. <laughs> Praise God. So Matthew chapter 19, verse 13 and 15. Praise God. Then the word of the Lord says that then the people brought the little children to Jesus for him to place his hands on them and pray for them. But the disciples rebuked them. Jesus said, let the little children come to me. Do not hinder them for the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. When he had placed his hands on them, he went on from there. Praise God. Amazing scripture, praise God. And we're going to get more of an insight, praise God, on, on what is taking place in these scriptures, praise God. Amen. Praise God. And tonight, amen, I want to give a background to these scriptures. Praise God. I want to give more of a, of a, a, a I want to paint a picture, amen, more on what is taking place in these scriptures. Praise God. Amen. So tonight, praise God. We're going to be talking a little bit about Jesus tonight. Amen. We're going to be talking about uh, the life of Amen. In, in the ministry of Jesus, praise God. Understand, amen, give you a little insight that Jesus was about 30, uh, 30 years old. Amen. The beginning of his ministry. When he began to preach and when he began to do his public ministry, he was about 30 years old. Amen. Praise God. And from the time he began his ministry, amen, people, amen, it is said that it either was two years, two and a half years, or maybe three years. That was how long his ministry was. That's how long he preached until the day of his crucifixion, praise God. So he was roughly around the age beginning 30, amen, and he took his last breath, amen, as a human, around 32 and a half to 33 years old, praise God, at the time of the crucifixion of Jesus, praise God, amen. And so when I say a public ministry, when I say a ministry, praise God, I mean that Jesus served the people, amen. How did he serve the people, amen. Jesus, amen, praise God, taught the word of God, amen. He shared his wisdom, he shared his knowledge, he shared his commands, he shared the laws, amen. He, he was performing miracles, amen. He was teaching, praise God. He was preaching, praise God, amen. He was a, a speaking in the parables, Praise God. A parable is a short story. We'll see that in the in the Gospels on on on, on all the, the parables that Jesus spoke. Praise God. Amen. He casted out demons. Praise God. Amen. Demon possessed people. Praise God. He he did a lot. Amen. In his public ministry. Praise God. He served the people. Praise God. Amen. And, and, and Jesus, praise God. Amen. He also healed the sick. Amen. Praise God. He healed the diseased. Praise God. Amen. And he gave prophecies. Praise God. Amen. And most of all, amen. He did, he, he gave salvation. He spoke salvation. Praise God. During the time of his ministry, praise God, and understand that Jesus was a humble man, praise God. Humble means amen, humility, praise God. Humbleness means, praise God, that, 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 that he would rather, amen, serve the people than to be served, amen. He didn't put himself up high. He didn't have a big old sign above him and said, my name is Jesus, praise God. God. He didn't come, praise God, in, in, in a big old limousine. He didn't come, amen, and, 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 and have money, praise God. He didn't come, amen, and all these things. No, he was a humble 
man, praise God. He was a man of service, praise God. Amen. In the scripture that we know, it says that even as the Son of Man came not to be served, but to uh, but wait, I'm the Son of Man came not to be served, but to serve. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. And to give his life as a ransom for many. Amen. Praise God. So this is how Jesus was during his ministry. A servant of God. And if Jesus was a servant, if he served the people, how do you, how, how, how does, does Jesus want us to be a servant also to serve the people? And to be humble? Yes, praise God. Jesus wants us, the children of God, the believers, to be a servant, a service to the people. Praise God. This is how Jesus wants us to be, praise God. Amen. A helper, praise God. Amen. To love one another no matter who does us wrong, no matter who talks about us, no matter who makes fun of us, praise God. Amen. Jesus loved them. And now Jesus wants us to love them too, praise God. Amen. And, and, and so Jesus wants us to be a helper. To be a helper, young people. With that being said, amen, to help the elders, to help your grandma, to help your grandpa, to help your mother, to help your father, amen. Don't let them, praise God, have to tell you what to do, amen. Just do it, praise God. Help one another. Like Armani said, amen, encourage one another, praise God. When you see somebody down, praise God. When you see somebody that's hurt, amen, encourage them, praise God. Help them. Don't just walk on by, but help them. Give them a helping hand, praise God. Just as Jesus did, this was a service that Jesus did, praise God, in his ministry, praise God. Amen. So, I encourage all you young people, amen, to help, praise God, help your family, help your friends, amen, praise God, and be like Jesus, praise God. Understand that, praise God, when you love your enemies, praise God, when you love all these people that curse you, it's okay. Let them hate you. Let them talk about you. Let them reject you. Praise God, but still show them love. Still show them that you are somebody different than the world. Praise God. Amen. Let, praise God, let them see something different in you. Let them see Jesus in you, praise God, because one of these days, amen, praise God, that the love of God, praise God, when people see and when people feel the love of God, understand that it will draw them to you, it will draw them, they're going to say, man, there's something different about him, I I, I, I didn't like him, I, I, I hated him, but there's something about him that's different. Praise God. Amen. Because they see God in you and it will draw them. Praise God. That love of God will draw the people to God. Amen. That is the power of the love of God. That is the power that Jesus showed the people. The love of God. Amen. Praise God. The unconditional love, the perfect love that can never fail, never be broken. The world's love will always, always break. But the love of God will never fail. The love of God will never break. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. So we, as a servant of God, must be a servant to the people, not to be served. Amen. We have to get that concept today in the churches today. Praise God. We got to get that. Amen. That we are a servant. We are just a messenger. We are nobody. Praise God. We got to be humble. We got to put ourselves down.
praise God, equal to the people, praise God. Amen. A lot of times we want to get titled, praise God, and we want to be above, praise God, but we are not above, praise God. We, praise God, are just like the people, amen, praise God, and we must be a service of the people, praise God, in these days to show the love of God, amen, praise God. And I just wanted, praise God, to Include that in here, praise God, because it's all going to come together in the end, praise God. So back to the ministry of Jesus, amen. So during the time of Jesus' ministry, when he was preaching, when he was teaching, amen, understand that how they, tr how they traveled, how they got place to place, how they got from city to city, amen, is they walked on foot. They were on foot, praise God. That was their travel. And if they wanted to go, praise God, across, amen, the waters, they will have a small, humble boat, praise God. A small, amen, little boat that will get a, that, that will take them through the Sea of Galilee, praise God, or through the Red Sea, amen, praise God, because they will travel. They will travel to the lands of Galilee, to Samaria, praise God. They will travel, amen, to other small towns, praise God, amen, and, and, and during their course of Jesus' ministry, amen, it was about the length of 40 miles, praise God. 40 miles was about the route of Jesus, praise God, amen, praise God, there were two hitchhikers, amen, that, that, that studied the word of God and that applied their studies to the route of Jesus, amen, and it came out to be 40 miles long, praise God, and mind you, amen, that these roads were not paved roads, they were not nice and clean uh, asphalt roads, praise God, they were not nice and smooth, no, amen, the trail of Jesus, the route that Jesus would take, praise God, was rough, it was rocky, was stiff, was steep, was dirty, praise God, amen, it, it, you know, there were really rocky trails, amen, it was a, it was a difficult trail, that the disciples and that Jesus traveled on just so that Jesus can preach the word, just so that Jesus can go to the next town and spread the good news, just so that Jesus can go heal the sick and the disease, just so that because Jesus knew the people were in need, so Jesus would go and travel and speak his encouragement and his strength. But that's what it took. Amen. It took, praise God them to travel from city to city praise god amen praise god so 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 mind you amen in the times of jesus they didn't have nice expensive shoes like we have today where you can go to the nike store and you can buy 300 dollars nice pairs of shoes they didn't have amen where you can go to the sports store and you can buy a nice big hiking bag amen full of snacks praise god and full of water they didn't have nothing praise god amen all they had were all they had were just sandals praise god little amen thin sandals to walk on the rocky roads to walk on the steep mountains to walk and climb praise god and at the time of their ministry amen they they, they had no place to sleep Praise God, they would have to sleep on the hard ground, amen. They would have to face dust storms. They would have to face rain. They would have to face all these obstacle things on the way to city to city, praise God, just so that Jesus could preach his word, just so, praise God, that he can spread the good news. So they endured all the conditions, amen. They endured all kinds of conditions, to spread the good news, praise God, to take the message of salvation to the lost, amen, praise God, amen, so no matter what, praise God, Jesus, praise God, continued to work, amen, continued to spread the gospel, no matter what came to him, praise God. So we know that Jesus was tired. We know, praise God, we read in the scripture that Jesus fasted for 40 days and 40 nights. And who was there in the midst when Jesus was hungry and tired? 
Satan, praise God. Amen. Satan was there trying to try to hinder Jesus, trying to, amen, make Jesus do these things that Satan wanted him to do. But as I said, all Jesus had to do was Satan get thee behind me. And he continued to do, amen, to teach the word of God. Praise God. And, and, and how the love of Jesus, it's amazing because I'm, I'm giving us a bigger picture on this scripture tonight praise God because it is the love of Jesus that he had that he endured praise God through all these things amen to spread the message praise God and that's how we ought to be praise God amen we cannot be defeated amen whatever we face whatever we go through as a minister praise God we have to continue 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 to endure the obstacles and the conditions so that we can spread the good news praise God because there is a lost and dying world out there this very moment our family members are lost in addiction our family members are lost in the wilderness. Our friends are lost in the wilderness tonight, praise God. So Jesus endured the conditions of what he went through on the trail. We have to endure the condition in order for the word of God to be preached. We got to endure the condition so that we can speak so that we can teach, so that we can preach and love that Jesus, amen, is here for them. Praise God. It's just like how Jesus did, praise God, to be a service, not to be served. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. So, amen. Let's go back to this scripture. Now that we know all these things, praise God, a bigger picture, amen, of Jesus' ministry, let's read again that scripture, <clears throat> Matthew chapter 19, verses 13 and 50, amen, praise God. The word says that then the people brought their little children to Jesus for him to place his hands on them and to pray for them. But the disciples rebuked them. Jesus said, let the little children come to me and do not hinder them. For the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. When he had placed his hands on them, he went on from there. Praise God. So when we read it, praise God, we didn't really have... We didn't really have a bigger picture, but now that we have a little more insight on what is taking place in the time of Jesus's ministry, now, praise God, we know, amen, in this time, what Jesus is facing, what Jesus is enduring, what his disciples are enduring. So this only gives me indication, praise God, that in the time of these scriptures that Jesus because Jesus traveled and traveled, he might have been tired, amen, he might have been uh, 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 resting, he might have been eating some food, this is why the disciples, amen, rebuked the little children, praise God, because we could only see, amen, amen, that if, if, if he's resting, amen, we will say, wait to come back, come back, Jesus is resting, Come back, he's he come back in a little bit. Let him rest a little bit. Let him be alone. Praise God. Let him let him have his alone time. Praise God. Because no, amen. That in the time of his ministry, he owed many crowds, multitudes would follow him. Jesus would always have a crowd. Jesus would always draw a crowd all the time. So he was rarely alone. Amen. He never really had an alone time. Praise God. So he, he, he was alone at this time. Praise God. And this is why the disciples rebuked the little children. Praise God. Because again, Jesus was probably tired. He was probably resting. Amen. Praise God. But know that in this scripture, Jesus never turns anybody away that is in need. And this is what I love about this scripture. So no matter how tired Jesus was, no matter how tired, amen, and, and no matter if he was resting, no matter if he was eating, praise God, he, he never turned 
people away. And in this scripture, praise God, he did not turn away the little children. Praise God. He said, let, let the little children come unto me. Do not hinder them. For the kingdom of heaven belongs to such as these. So this gives us a very strong, powerful scripture that Jesus loves the little children. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. And I'm going to go a little bit more deeper in this. Praise God. But amen. That's it. In, in encouragement, praise God, to the little children tonight. That all you young people don't let the world tell you you are a nobody. All you young people don't never let the world tell you you are worthless, that you are not loved, that nobody loves you. Because tonight you heard the scripture to say, let the little children come unto me because I love them. Because they are God's creation, because they are a chosen generation, because they are the next men of warfare, they are the next woman of warfare, they are the next child of God that will preach the word of God, they are the next Ezekiel, they are the next Davids, praise God, they are the next, praise God, ones that are going to take the mantle and to preach the word, because no young people, amen, that you are highly favored by God. God because you are created by God. Amen. God has molded you. God has created you from the dust. He knows every single number on your head. He knew who you were in your mother's womb. Praise God. He had an ordination in your mother's womb because you were already called to be somebody great. So never let this fallen a wicked world tell you you are a nobody because tonight you are loved by God you are loved by a mighty savior you are loved by a conquering king you are loved by the name of Jesus yes God oh we thank you God amen so young people be encouraged amen praise God be encouraged. Amen. Praise God. Awesome. Praise God. Awesome. Awesome scripture tonight. Praise God. And I love that scripture. Amen. Amen. The more we studied, the more I studied it, the more I opened it. Praise God. The more I got into it in depth. This is what I saw. Praise God. Amen. Jesus loves the little children. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. So tonight, I wanted to encourage you with that. Praise God. Amen. And, and always know, praise God, that you are loved. You are loved. You are loved. Amen. I'm going to sing this song tonight. And if you guys have any prayer requests, if you guys want to stand for your children, if you have any love unsaved ones out there praise God go ahead and write to us so we can stand with you in prayer yes God
never lie to me Oh Lord Oh how you love me Oh how you love me
Lord, Father God, we come before you, Lord Jesus, and we thank you, Lord, for your word tonight. We thank you, Lord Jesus, for your scripture, Lord Father God, on how much you love the little children, God, on how much, Lord Father God, the children mean to you, God, that you will never turn anybody away, God, Lord Jesus, because you, Lord Father God, love God, everyone, God. Oh, in the name of Jesus, we thank you tonight, God. Lord, we uplift this prayer request here tonight for our sister Janie Hinton, God. Lord Jesus, she's asking prayer for Mariah, God. Fighting sickness, God. Oh, in the name of Jesus, Lord God. We pray for Mariah, Lord God. Whatever Mariah is going through tonight, God, I pray that you, we, Lord Father God, we speak to the situation, God. Lord Jesus, whatever it may be, Lord Father God, we claim it tonight, God, that Lord Jesus, that Lord Father God, that you will go to work in our life, God. That you will surround her life, God. That you will comfort her, Lord. Whatever she's in need of tonight, God. That you will get a hold of Mariah, Lord. Whatever she may be, God. Whatever she may be doing tonight in this very moment, God. We pray today, Lord Jesus, that you will give her a touch, God, of an anointing, God. That you will cover her by your blood tonight, God. Oh, in the name of Jesus, God. Lord Jesus, fighting sickness, God. Oh, Lord Father, God, I cast out a sickness, Lord God, that you will bring healing, God, by your precious power, Lord, by your almighty power, God, that you will heal the sick tonight, God. Oh, we thank you in the name of Jesus. We pray, God, right now for her nieces and her nephews for salvation, God. This is what it, this is what it takes, Lord, for praying for the unsaved, believing, believing that her nieces and that her nephews will one day turn their eyes towards you, God. That they will look to the cross and that they will see what you have done, Lord. They will see that they are living in a world that is full of a bruise, full of brokenness, full of abuse. But, Lord, that one day they will see the cross, Lord. They will see, Lord Father God, you, Lord. Lord, they will see your open arms, God. Lord Jesus, they may be tired, Lord. They may be weary, Lord. They may be tired of what they're facing, Lord. But you are the only answer, God. You are the only way, Lord. You are the only truth, Lord, that can help them. But we believe today, God, that we serve a God that is alive. That we serve a God that will hear our cry. That we, that you will hear our concern. We believe on the mountaintop, God, that salvation will come to her nieces and her nephews. Oh, we thank you, Lord God. Oh, have your way tonight, praise God. Have your way tonight, praise God. Hey, man, is there any more prayer requests? Praise God. Before we depart, before we go, amen. Amen, is there any more? Praise God, before we go. Have your way, Lord. Have your way, Lord. Oh, have your way, Lord. Oh, have your way, Lord. Oh, in the name of Jesus, Lord Father God, I come before you, Lord Jesus. I uplift my daughter Malachi here tonight, God. Lord Jesus, Lord Father God, that you will heal her body, God. That you will strengthen her body, Lord. From the top of her head to the soles of her feet tonight, God. That you will fill her up with the power, Lord, Father God, of you. That you will fill her up with an anointing of you tonight, God. That you, Lord, Father God, will give her a healing touch, Lord. Oh, in the name of Jesus, we cast out every sickness tonight. We cast out every sickness in every body here tonight, God. Oh, in the name of Jesus, Lord Father God, you can do all things, Lord. There is nothing too hard for you, God. Oh, we call upon you in a time of sickness, God. That you, Lord Jesus, will bring a healing. That you will bring a strength, God. Oh, in every body, Lord, in every body, God. That you will heal the sick tonight, God. 
Oh, in the name of Jesus, God, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. And tonight, Lord, Father, God, we uplift, amen, the Fort McDowell Church here tonight, God. You know the situation, Lord, Father, God. You know what is going on in Fort McDowell, Lord, with the church. But the church, Lord, Father, God, will rise up, Lord. Oh, in the name of Jesus, for if they don't have a building, Lord, let the minister speak, Lord, Father, God. Oh, in the old days, they didn't have a building. In the old days, they stood on a rock. And they proclaimed and prophesied. Oh, and they spoke the word of God. Oh, let Fort McDowell, Lord Father God, be heard, Lord God. Let him be heard, Lord Father God. Because it is not done. It is not done. It is not done. But we pray today, God, for the upcoming service, Lord. For this gospel uh, this gospel jam, this gospel, Lord Father God, coming together and worshiping in his spirit and truth, God, that the word of God will go forth, Lord, that you will anoint the grounds, Lord Father God, that if there is anybody that is in need, if there's anybody, Lord Father God, if the hurt, if the broken, if the abused come to, on, on those grounds, Lord, next coming Saturday, Lord, oh, that they will feel something different, they will feel the Holy Ghost, they will feel the love. They, the, your love will draw them to you, God. And that you will give them a divine word. That you will give them a prophetic word, God. A true sound doctrine word. That when they hear the word of you, God. Oh, their life will change, Lord. The addictions will be broken, Lord. The chains, Lord Father God, of slavery, Lord Father God, will be broken, Lord God. The strongholds of the pillars in their life, God will be destroyed that the gates of hell will be demolished Lord Father God for don't let this just be a gathering but let this be a beginning of a revival oh God oh God I'm ready Lord we're ready God oh we're ready God Stand here, God. And all that we have, God. And all that we got, Lord. We stand here, Lord Father God. Oh, ready for the move of God. You will send down the rain, Lord. Oh, in every direction, Lord. That a revival will take place, Lord. Lord Jesus, that the only true sound doctrine will be preached, Lord. Oh, that a mighty move of you, Lord Father God, will take place, God. Oh, I feel the presence, Lord. I feel the presence, Lord. I feel the presence of you tonight, God. Oh, as I stand here, Lord, Father God. Oh, you're stirring up the atmosphere, Lord. You're stirring up, Lord, Father God. Something great is coming, Lord. Oh, something great is coming. It's not money. It's not blessings. But it is a prophetic word from you, Lord. Oh, God. Oh, Lord, God. Oh, we thank you tonight, God. Lord Father God, we uplift home senior tonight, God. Oh Lord Jesus and the grandson, Lord, for deliverance from alcohol. Oh, in the name of Jesus, we cast down alcohol. We cast down the addiction, Lord Father God. Oh, in the name of Jesus, we cast down 
alcohol tonight, Lord. Lord, you said that you have given us power over alcohol, Lord. You have given us power over addiction, Lord. That we will tread upon scorpions. That we will step on the scorpions. Oh, because the power that is in your name of Jesus, we cry out your name against this alcoholic spirit, God. That they will be delivered from it, God. In this very moment, Lord, let them hear a word, Lord. Let them hear a divine word from you, God. And that salvation will take place, God. That salvation will take place, my sister Lorena. Oh, tonight, salvation will take place. Hold on. Keep on praying. Keep on seeking God. Keep on reading His Word and see what the good Lord will do. Oh, have faith, my sister. Continue to stand for your son. Oh, continue to stand for home senior. Continue to stand, praise God, for the grandson. And see what the good Lord will do. Oh, we pray for Tia for healing tonight, God. Lord Jesus, for Father God, Lord Jesus, let healing take place in our body, God. Oh, in the name of Jesus, let every uh, a bone, every muscle, every blood vessel, Lord, every sickness, God, that is in her body, Lord, we cast it down, Lord, let her, let her be healed in the name of Jesus, God. Oh, Lord, Father God, touch her from the top of her head to the soles of her feet, God. Oh, in the name of Jesus, we give her to you tonight, God. Lord, Father God, we pray for niece for comfort. Amen. Praise God. We pray. Praise God for comfort, God, that you will surround. Amen. Everybody tonight that is facing things, God. Lord Jesus, for the ones that are facing grief tonight, for the ones that are in sorrow tonight, God, for the ones that are sick, Lord, for the ones that are brokenhearted, Lord, for the ones that are tired, for the ones that are weary, for the ones that are standing in the trial of fire, God, for the ones that are, that, that are standing against the enemy's fiery arrows, God, we pray for a perfect peace, God, we pray for a perfect comfort, Lord. We pray today that you will surround, Lord Father God, all the situations, Lord, for we know that every situation, Lord God, is approved by you, God. Just like Job, Lord, every situation that you allowed Job to go through, you allowed it, God, because you trusted Job. You trusted Job to get through the situation. So every situation that we are facing, you are saying, God, you trust us because we have the power to overcome. We have the power to get through it because God is going before us. Oh, in the name of Jesus, God. Yes, Lord God. Oh, we thank you, God. Have your way, Lord. Oh, as your spirit flows, God. Lord Jesus, amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Even though we depart tonight, amen. Praise God. Let the word sink into your heart. Let the spirit of God continue to flow. Amen. Don't, amen. Get out. Don't, don't, don't hinder the spirit. Praise God. But continue, praise God. Amen. To be in the presence of God. Amen. Praise God. So I'm going to go ahead and my um, son, amen, is going to end us out in our prayer tonight. Amen. So we just want to say God bless you. Amen. I love you. My wife, we love you. My, our children, we love you. Excuse me. The more than conquerors youth ministry love you. Praise God. You are not alone. Always remember there is somebody praying for you. And that every Monday, praise God. Amen. There is somebody, praise God, that is praying. Amen. So you are not alone. You are not alone. Praise God. So, amen. God bless you. Praise God. And my son is going to end us out tonight. Praise God. Good evening, uh, good evening to everyone. And today I'll be open.
closing out the service. Dear Lord, as we woke up this morning, thank you for waking us up to another day, and thank you for bringing us back home safely, and thank you for uh, doing everything in our lives. Thank you for every small thing you've given us. Thank you for a roof over our head, yes. food on the dinner table. And I, as we're about to close the service, let this be an encouragement to everyone. Touch the children. Let them know that they are loved and yes. that there's someone to call on. And your name is Jesus yes. for them to call on. So that you would encourage them, that you would touch their mind, that you would open their hearts and their eyes to you. That you would touch every young person out there that's doing alcohol, drugs, that they would... That they would turn from their evil ways yes. and start looking to you because the time is almost running out. The devil sees the times here that, and he's doing everything he can to our young people. Yes. But Lord, I just ask you to go into their hearts and tell them that it's not right to do that. That they would turn from their evil ways and t turn towards you so that they can make it to heaven and not to a lake of fire and burn for eternity. I just ask you to touch their hearts. And as we're gonna go to bed tonight, let us thank you for a mattress that we could lay on and touch every homeless out there on the streets. Let them let them get something to eat. And if you shall make it return tonight, tonight, let us be ready, open. Forgive us, forgive us for every sin that we did today. Forgive us for what we did, what we said, what we thought about you. And let us have a good night's rest. And thank you. And amen. Amen. God bless you all.